the first program ever was modeled on International Space University's summer program, summer session. And it was, it was called the GSP, it was originally called the Graduate Studies Program, which sort of was a conflict with, with Stanford's Graduate Studies Program. Anyway, we had 40 graduate students who came at SU. And that was, that was SU, 40 graduate students for, for 10 weeks. And uh, they started a bunch, and the difference was Ray and I, both entrepreneurs, wanted that at the end of the summer program, you had started a company. And so there was probably a dozen or more companies started. The next year we grew it to 80, and we've maintained it between 80 and 100 GSP students for the last 10 years. And then in year three, we added the executive programs, which really became the driving engine. Right. Um, and then in, in the Innovation Partnership Program, IPP, jointly with XPRIZE, and the Global Summit, Exponential Medicine. You know, hats off to Daniel Kraft for his leadership in creating Exponential Medicine. A, amazing success story there. Um, but after 10 years, we said, you know, the GSP, uh, let's take a re-examining of it. Do you yeah. want to? No, that's great. And, and I think one of, the, one of the things that we learned over the, the years is we were trying to do an almost impossible job and were incredibly successful at, at, at that. And, and that was bringing diverse individuals from all over the world to, to think about exponential technologies, to look at the world's hardest problems, form teams, come up with ideas to impact a billion people, and then launch and be committed to them. Within 10 weeks. <laughs> Within 10 weeks, right. right? So, you know, it was, it was a pretty tall order. Pretty, pretty tall yeah. order. And, yeah, we, and everyone we talked to about it is like, that is insane. Either just do the leadership side, or just do the accelerator side, or just do the, the launch side. Don't try to do all those things. But we actually have had numerous examples of incredible companies, Made in Space, Matternet, others that are truly out transforming the world in new ways. Uh, and I am so proud of that. But what we missed early on was this right here, with this incredible global community that has access to resources and ideas and want also with the same shared purpose of, of wanting to create a future of abundance. And, and so one of the biggest things that we took into consideration with relaunching that program was how do we better integrate and leverage the amazing faculty, the amazing alumni, the amazing partners that we have all over the world. Really make it a global program. To make it a global program. Yeah. And that is very much what the re-envisioning and the relaunch is going to, is going to showcase. We're, we're directly by design integrated our global ecosystem into supporting and launching, identifying the projects that are going to go through our GSP program. And it'll be a long program. It's not a 10 weeks and you're out, we kick you out the door. You know, after 10 weeks, nobody wanted to leave. We had to, <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of people that are still like hiding in the back ends of, of NASA that Please we had to, don't, yeah, <laughs> yeah don't, don't kick me out. And so, so it's now a one year program with lifetime commitment of those projects. We like, took a year off from the GSP to reimagine it. Yep. Uh, an amazing alumna who is, uh, who is running the program, you'll meet her later. Yeah, Monique Giggy from GSP14. Yes. Um, as is, is running. Can we say what the new name is? Because I think it's super cool. We're we saving that yep. for later. GSP. That's GSP. Fine. Okay, I'll right, tell you what GSP not. stands for later. <laughs> it's much more on track, but. Well, you uh, tell. Let's go. Okay, it, it's now called the Global Startup Program. Yeah. Right? And, it, and it's going to rock your world. So excited about it. Yeah, no, it's amazing. It's amazing. Awesome. Yeah.